Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to JK Study and today in this video, I'm going to review this Cengage Organic Chemistry for J Advanced Part 1 by Case Verma and also this TPP. So if you are not, if you are subs not subscribed to our channel, definitely subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that when you post a new study related video, you'll be notified instantly. We usually post study related videos like uh, book review, notebook review, um, study vlogs and study with me videos. So definitely subscribe to this channel. Now let's get started. So first, let's talk about this book. Okay. So here we can see. Um, let's see the contents right here. Uh, chapter one: classification and nomenclature of organic compounds. So here you can see. Um, now chapter two is purification of organic compounds and qualitative and quantitative analysis. Now chapter three: isomerism. Now chapter four: general organic chemistry. Chapter five: organic reaction mechanism. Now chapter 6, alkenes and cycloalkenes, chapter 7, alkenes and uh, alkenes, chapter 8, alkynes, um, chapter 9, environmental chemistry. Now solutions, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. Now appendix 1, chapter 1, of Jamie in 2019 questions, um, <coughs> 16 sets. Cha appendix 2, chapter 1, of Jamie in January 2020 questions, 6 sets. Appendix 3, J, advanced 2019 solved questions. Now here you can see a list of abbreviations and contractions. Now chapter one, classification and nomenclature of organic compounds. So you can see some theories right here. Okay, now after some theory, you can find um, illustrations like those previous two books I've reviewed in my channel okay, of chemistry books, part one for G advanced, physical and inorganic. Okay, so here you can see the illustrations, okay. Again, some theories you can see right here, then again, some illustrations, then concept application exercise right here, you can see. And then again, some theories, illustrations, again, some theories, illustrations, theories, illustrations, concept application exercise. Okay. Now, then you can find the concept application exercise and then you can find the solve examples right here at the end of the chapter. After those uh, theories, uh, illustrations and concept application exercise, you can find the solve examples and then there you can find... Uh, some examples and then exercises okay and in the exercise you can find several types of questions like single correct answer type question then multiple correct answer type questions multiple correct answers type questions then linked comprehension type questions and matrix match type questions right here and numerical value type questions also and archives right here you can find the main and advanced questions um, for the, in this case, you can find only the J advanced questions. Okay, right here, single correct answer type questions and multiple correct answers type question. Now, here's the answer, the answer scheme. Okay, so the basic structure is right here. Uh, first, you can find some theories. First, theories, then illustrations, and then again, it can be theories and illustrations. Then you can find you can you can find the concept uh, concept application exercises. Then again, some theories, illustrations, theories, illustrations, and then concept application exercises. Okay, it can repeat once more. Okay, twice, and then you can find um, solved examples, and after that, you can find the exercise. And in the exercise, you can find several types of questions, like single correct answer type question, multiple correct answers type question. Um, linked comprehension type questions, matrix match type questions, and numerical value type questions. And after that, you can find the archives right there. You can find J main and adv advanced questions. In the case of J main, you can find the um, single correct answer type questions, and in the case of J advanced, um, single correct answer type questions, as well as multiple correct answers type questions, linked comprehension type questions, matrix match type questions, and numerical value type questions. And then you can find the answer ski right here. And if you want the solutions <clears throat> you're stuck in the solving uh, any problems right here questions okay so you want the solutions you can uh, easily get that in the solutions section at the end of the all of these chapters end of the book okay right here you can find the here's it's also chapter wise um <clears throat> it's also chapter wise divided so right here you just have to turn the uh, solution section right here is chapter wise is uh, solutions of chapter one here's the concept of exercises okay solutions of concept application exercises here's the solutions of the exercises and right here the solutions of the archives okay now let's talk about the chapter two right here purification of organic compounds and qualitative and quantitative analysis so right here you can find the uh, theories okay and after that you can find <coughs> Some illustrations and then again some theories and illustrations then concept application ex application exercise okay now again some theories and illustrations theories and illustrations and then you can find some assault examples okay 
right here you can see and then you can find the exercises and after that you can find the archives and then answers key okay now chapter three isomerism okay first theories and illustrations right here i'm just turning the pages you can see then concept application exercise again some theories illustrations theories illustrations and um after some time you can find the concept application exercise okay i'm just turning the pages you can see <clears throat> okay and then uh, after those you can find the um solved examples right here as you can see and then you can find the exercises and after the exercises sorry after the exercises you can find the archives you can find um right here the archives and then answer key okay now chapter four general organic chemistry or goc okay so here's some <coughs> theories and after some theories you can find the illustrations and concept application size also and i'm just turning the pages you can see the book okay Now, chapter five, react organic reaction mechanism. Okay. Now, chapter six, alkenes and cycloalkenes. Now, chapter seven, alkenes and alkenes. Now chapter A8, alkynes. Chapter 9, environmental chemistry. And now you can find the solutions section. Okay, right here is chapter wise solutions. Right here you can find here's the solutions of the chapter one. Okay, <clears throat> here's the solutions of the chapter two. Here's the solutions of the um, chapter three. Here's the solutions of the chapter four. And solutions of chapter five. And solutions of chapter six. And chapter seven, solutions of chapter seven. Now, solutions of chapter 8. Solutions of chapter 8 and solutions of chapter 9. 
Now, Appendix 1, Chapter Wise Solve, JMA in 2019, Question 16, 6 is Chapter Wise Solve. Okay, so you can see. Now, Appendix, here's the answer, answer key. Okay, now, Appendix 2, Chapter Wise Solve, JMA in January 2020, Question 6, 6. And right here, Appendix 3, J Advanced 2019, Solved Questions. Right here, you can see. And answer key. Now, completed. Okay. Now let's talk about this DPP. Okay, so here you can see chapter wise or topic wise daily practice problems. DPP organic chemistry part one, J main and advanced practice concept and improve your grip on problem solving skills. Uh, chapter origin the DPP may not match with the chapter origin in the book, authored by Sima Sain. Now let's see contents. Okay, chapter one classification and nomenclature of organic compounds. Right here, several DPPs you can see right here. And then chapter two purification of organic compounds, qualitative and quantitative. Okay, here's also some four DPPs. Okay, now chapter three isomerism. Here's the five DPPs. Now chapter four general organic chemistry or GOC. Here's uh, five DPPs. Now chapter five organic reaction mechanism. Here's also five DPPs, I think. Okay, now chapter six, alkenes and cycloalkenes. Here's three DPPs. Okay, chapter seven, alkenes and alkadenes. Okay, here's three DPPs. Okay, chapter eight, alkynes. Here's two DPPs. And chapter nine, environmental chemistry. Okay, here's just a single DPP. Okay, now the solution. So let's see one by one. Okay, chapter one, classification and nomenclature of organic compounds. DPP 1.1, nomenclature of alkenes. Okay, here's several types of questions you can find. Okay, so first is subjective type question, and then you can also find single correct answer type, multiple correct answers type, um, matching column type, integer type, comprehension type. Okay, and then answers. Key. Okay, if you want to find the solutions of those questions, you just stuck any problem in any question okay you can find the um solution section right here at the end of the dpp or like the book okay here's the solution section and here you can find here's the chapter one dp 1.1 so solutions of dp 1.1 you can find right here okay now here's dp 1.2 nomenclature of alkenes alkenes and alkynes okay now dp 1.3 dp 1.4 and then dp 1.5 dp 1.6 one uh, 1.7 then chapter 2 purification of organic compounds qualitative and quantitative dpp 2.1 purification of organic compounds dpp 2.2 2.3 2.4 uh, now chapter 3 isomerism dpp 3.1 structural isomerism 3.2 um 3.3 now dpp 3.4 now <clears throat> dpp 3.5 and now chapter 4 organic general organic chemistry dpp 4.1 inductive effect okay 4.2 then 4.3 4.4 .4, 4.5 and then chapter 5 organic reaction mechanism dpp 5.1 free radical substitution okay now right here dpp 5.2 5.3 and then 5.4 5.5 chapter 6 alkenes and cycloalkenes dpp 6.1 then 6.2 6.3 and then chapter 7 alkenes and alkadenes dpp 7.1 and 7.2 now 7.3 chapter 8 alkynes dpp 8.1 preparation of alke alkynes 8.2 now chapter 9 environmental chemistry on uh, dpp 9.1 environmental chemistry okay. now that's it now the solution section okay now let's i'm just turning the pages you can see Chapter 3, uh, right here. Here's the chapter 4. Chapter 5. Chapter 6. Chapter 7. Chapter 8. And chapter 9. That's it, completed. Okay. So here's the DPP and here's the book. So let's talk about the book uh, for, from the JE advanced point of view. Okay, so this book is really great for problem solving and there is tons of questions you can solve. Okay, these books are really great because there are questions, there are high quality questions. So you, you'll, you'll be, <clears throat> uh, you'll feel just really happy
while well, solving those questions because there are tons of questions several types of questions okay now if you want to buy these books i've given the link in the description and in the pinned comment you can buy this book through the link and also if you like this video hit the like button and share this video with your JES parent friend and subscribe to this channel and also if you have any questions if you have any suggestions if you have any doubts you can comment below and see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.